the this is uh, th this is just a fop to the uh, those of you who use Cofax um, as a, uh, a product as well as uh, application extender. Now, one of the things that we wanted to do with the um, presentation this morning is is to not only go over what a lot of you have, and a lot of our customers have uh, Cofax um, Capture, and uh, some of you have the transformation modules, and we'll go into exactly what those are. Uh, but we wanted to give you a taste of uh, other products that uh, are out there with, with Cofax. Um, so we, we've got three sections to the presentation this morning. We've got what you might already have, um, uh, Cofax Capture and Transformation Modules. And we've also included the front office server in that as well. We'll go over those and, and uh, get into some detail on what they can do and how they can help you and what versions they are and should you upgrade and and information that, that may be useful to you. Then a couple of other products uh, as well, extending your existing capture platform. A um, couple other products that, that Cofax have that you may or may not be aware of. Um, just wanted to make sure that you have information about those. And the final section of the presentation this morning is introducing not necessarily a new product, but it has been a, a, a new version as of last year. And it's a product called Kapow, um, which is, um, a data capture product, and we'll go into that and some use cases on how that might be useful for you. So just before I get into the presentation, just wanted to give a, a couple of minutes on, on where Cofax is as an organization. Um, obviously, Cofax has been around for many years and has been a standalone company, uh, but uh, a few years ago purchased by Lexmark. So Lexmark purchased Cofax and a number of other software technologies. Um, and then recently, they have been spun out back into um, uh, Cofax again. So they basically were purchased by a private equity fund. Uh, they're now just Cofax. They're nothing to do with Lexmark. Um, but they have a, a number of other products rather than just the Cofax Capture Tour. Um, what's pleasing to, to us as a, as a partner and obviously is to you as a customer, which we'll allude to during the presentation, that there are roadmaps again. Obviously, Cofax has, has been around the 10.1, 10.2 version for quite a while, uh, but now there, there are some roadmaps coming, Co uh, Cofax Capture 11 is coming and things like that. So things are beginning to open up now that the transition and acquisitions and sellouts and, and uh, the commercial side of things have settled down a little bit. So let's get into um, Cofax Capture and the transformation modules. Now, I'm not going to go too much into detail on Cofax Capture because many of you on the call today already have Cofax Capture. But of course, it's the what we call the, the kind of the mailroom digitization product, taking paper-based um, uh, files and turn, digitizing them um, and uh, making sure that we assign those index values to them. One of the, the, um, the, the features of Cofax Capture is that it, it allows the processing of what we call structured forms. And I'm, I'm uh, explaining this because it sets up my, uh, my, my discussion around the transformation module. So what do we mean by that? It means consistent forms within the organization. Zonal OCR, we're always grabbing values in the same place. Uh, on the form, and if we're not, then we can do what's called key from image, we can type it in, we can do database lookups, we can read barcodes. So Cofax Capture is really designed to take um, paper, digitize it, and extract information from fixed locations on, on the, uh, the, the documents themselves. Uh, many of you have this, it provides you know, great value within the organization, um, and it, it, it's designed to process very large amounts of uh, paper, not only from scanners, but from email, fax, and MFPs, and so forth. So it's very, very flexible and very powerful platform. So something that uh, is really an add-on to um, Cofax Capture is something called the Cofax Transformation Modules, and that takes the extraction of data one step further. We just mentioned the word um, structured forms, forms where everything is in the same location. Tra Cofax Transformation really um, manages uh, all types of data, um, semi-structured or unstructured forms, where it's actually searching. It's got a lot more um, features and algorithms to search within the documents themselves to extract information. So 
if we can process all different document types, structured forms, semi-structured documents. A semi-structured document is uh, an invoice. So that's a great example of a semi-structured document. All has the same information. Every invoice has the same information. It's just in very slightly different places. Uh, unstructured documents are things that have no defined format when they're created, maybe a Word document or a letter or something like that, that is information within it, but the, the author or creator of that, that completely decides the structure of the, of the document themselves. So it's very difficult to get that with Copax Capture, that, that kind of XY coordinate to extract the information, which is where transformation modules come into its own. So really, we're talking about the classification of data extraction. So it has a, a thin client um, validation module. So we, we can um, you know, use a, a web-based client to, to process the information, which is a, a nice feature. And it has a, a lot of uh, tools around um, the, the presentation of the form. If you look at the screen at the bottom right-hand corner, you can actually present the information a little bit uh, closer to what the document is. Um, so, and it also does a great job of extracting table information as well. So you're really setting up business rules um, to extract information from certain places. And it has what's called design time, production time, learning of document time. So as the user is interacting with the document and grabbing information, it's learning that and then updating the business rules as it goes. So it's really an advanced um, processing tool for extracting information. Really, the use cases around uh, COFAX transformation, medical claims, invoice processing is probably one of the biggest um, uh, processing because you can extract the line item data as well as the, the, the invoice header information as well, and, and general form processing. So um, those three are probably the biggest use cases we've seen for the transformation modules. So just before I get into the front office server, so we've got COFAX capture, which is scanning and digitizing the, the, and, and extracting information from fixed forms. That's really where Kofax Capture comes into its own. Um, transformation modules takes that a step further by saying it doesn't have to be a fixed form, can be unstructured or a semi-structured form, uses business rules and learning algorithms to extract information from different locations. The third part of, of the, the, the Capture um, platform that, that we see is something called the Kofax Front Office Server. Now, a lot of organizations have invested, you know, a lot of money into multifunction devices, right? Scanner copiers that are in every floor or department of the organization. And a lot of those have been scan enabled. So they're not only, um, you know, copiers, but they're also quite powerful scanners as well. What the front office server does is integrate those MFPs into the COFAX environment. So they actually allow you to interact with the MFPs if they're compatible at the, the MFP itself. So they often have screens and there's a uh, COFAX integration and software built into that that you can uh, you know, select the batch class, the document type that you're scanning, and it goes straight into the back end process. So that, that's a very nice way of, of really leveraging your existing investment. You know, scanners can be expensive, so if you, you can leverage the investment of the multifunction devices, then this is a great tool. And what we're finding is the MFPs are becoming a lot better scanners than they used to be. Um, so the technology behind the scanning is becoming much better. So front office server, um, VRS, which is um, Kofax's image cleanup technology is now built into the front office server software. You've got a web client where you can manipulate and process the images and you've got device management. So currently it supports over 300 models of MFPs. So it's quite likely that the MFPs that you have in your organization today are probably supported within the front office server. And this, is, this acts as a great on-ramp to not only Kofax Capture, but also the transformation modules as well. So in the reason why we're bundling these products into our first section of the presentation, we quite often see Kofax Capture, the transformation modules, and the front office server providing a, a, a total capture solution for, for organizations. So the latest versions of these, COFAX um, 10.2 Service Pack 1 is the latest capture version uh, for Co COFAX Capture. And this is required for Windows 10. So I'll get into the reasons for upgrading on a minute, but that, that's just a, a, something to note. COFAX Transformation Modules is version 6.2 and the Front Office Server is 4.1. 
so we talked about, I mean, many of you are aware of Cofax Capture has been on the 10, 10x uh, version for quite a while. Um, but I, I've been working with uh, Cofax and they, they are um, giving me some information on Cofax Capture 11, which is uh, due out pretty soon. It's not completely announced um, as to when it's released, but it's coming soon. So the, the, the important thing to note here, that which we're quite excited about, is that there's a roadmap in place for not only Cofax Capture, but for all the other components as well, especially the three components that we're talking about uh, within this presentation. So first thing, administrative audit. Um, so you'll be able to, everything's more audited and things are captured during the process. So you can track down issues um, that have been introduced by changes made within the batch class. So quite often the problem, and the first two um, items in, in, in terms of enhancements kind of go together. It, it's very difficult because you, you, you make a change within the batch class, you publish it, it introduces an error. So what happened? Where was that error introduced? So the, 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 two, the first two bullets here really go together. So the administrative audit helps you um, work out who made the changes to the batch class, where in the batch class um, is it falling down and where the issue is. And the batch class versioning allows you to get that point in time version control of what happened and when. So that, that uh, provides some extra control, especially for compliant systems. So you know who made changes and when and why, uh, so you can track that down and make sure that uh, it's dealt with. There's been some security enhancements and there's also some UX some usability enhancements are coming out in KC11, performance enhancements. Um, uh, as well as, you know, updated for, for newer operating systems and databases. And there's also some bug fixes in there as well. And, you know, this is just an initial list. Obviously, we'll get more information as, as, uh, um, as COFAX continue their planning. As we get information, we'll obviously pass that out to, to, to you so you can um, assess whether some of these new features are, are worth upgrading to. You know, it's a, it's a new version, so, you know, sometimes we recommend just let, let these features bed in, wait for the first service pack, and, and then we can uh, um, talk about upgrading. But we'll certainly keep you updated of, of uh, the, um, how, that's, uh, how the rollout's going. So key thing is, should you upgrade? So uh, obviously, KC11 is coming out soon. Um, so what we typically recommend, as you just said, is, is to hold off downloading it the day it comes out and upgrading, obviously wait uh, and just uh, do some testing, maybe download it to a test environment um, and just make sure they're doing some, uh, you know, testing before you move it into production. It is a new version. Um, <clears throat> three reasons to, to upgrade today. Um, version 9 and version 10 are still in support. So anything below Cofax Capture 9 is uh, no longer within the supported product calendar. Windows 10's a, um, a big issue. If you're on 10.1, 10.0, 10.1, or 10.2 without the service pack one, and you'd like to move to Windows 10, definitely recommend you upgrade to the latest service pack uh, because there's definitely some fixes and some enhancements made to work it on the Windows 10 operating system. What we found is there's been many fixes. If you're on the 10.0.10.1 platform, there's many fixes that, that were put into 10.2 and the service pack one. Um, definitely worth upgrading to the latest just, just to maybe resolve those. If you are experiencing some issues with 10.0.10.1, let us know. We'll be happy to go over the release notes with you so you can understand how that might add value to your organization. And just generally get into support. You know, we always recommend you know, getting within the supported product calendar so you can get support uh, from us and, and from COFAX as a tier two. So just wanted to give you those three things. So if you're thinking about an upgrade or looking to, to get an upgrade, definitely worth um, you know, uh, reviewing some of these uh, new features. So that's, you, you may be aware of some of those uh, tools. Definitely COFAX Capture transformation modules is some of you are using. And front office server, I think, is a great value add if you if you're um, uh, doing a lot of the um, just bear with me a second here while I get my PowerPoint presentation back. I apologize for that. Let me get back to where I was. 
Okay, so what we're going to do now is it, it talk about some other products that, that may extend your existing Carfax Capture platform uh, and add some value. So the first product I want to introduce you to is something called Cofax Insight, which combines discovery and monitoring capabilities with rich intelligence and data integration tools. What that really means is it's, it's a, it allows you to monitor the productivity um, and uh, performance of your existing Cofax Capture environment. So if you've got you know, quite a big environment and you want to understand what's going on, um, you know, uh, really work out if there's any bottlenecks within the the um, process so you can make uh, updates to the batch class, then you can certainly do that with, with Cofax uh, Insight. And there's an analytics for, for capture, which is basically works with your capture environment to provide that insight. It's got dashboards and reports that really can give you, you know, uh, a, an insight as to the process and productivity of your existing environment. Pretty useful if you're, um, you know, a large scanning shop, you can really analyze your environment and see if there's uh, some, uh, you know, changes and some uh, batch class uh, productivity improvements that you can make. The next one, Cofax mobile platform. Um, obviously, mobile scanning is becoming quite a big thing, especially as the mobile device devices become better, better at uh, capturing documents. The, the technology is becoming uh, essentially a better scanner. The iPhones and the Android devices are, are just great scanners now. So obviously with a mobile platform, you, you can really um, enhance the, the concept of point of capture. So capturing the documents uh, where you're handed. So if you've got a lot of mobile people, you know, um, you know, maybe uh, people that are, are out in the field that you can capture documents there and then put them within the environment. So, you know, you, you're, you're turning your smartphones, your tablets into scanning devices. So it's it's a pretty powerful um, platform, especially if you're looking to um, you've got a, load, a large mobile workforce uh, and you want to to extend the the scanning to to that environment. Um, so it's a, an open platform for interactive capture processing. So, you know, you, it, it, it's an SDK that you can use to build inside some of your um, uh, environments. There are some out-of-the-box configurations for bill pay, um, deposit capture, mobile ID. A lot of the out-of-the-box integrations you're probably already seeing are geared towards the banks. And, and obviously, you know, if you're using um, a banking application to scan checks and things that I, I'm sure that the, the one of the banks that, that, that you use or the credit cards is probably powered by the Cofax mobile framework. So it's built inside existing applications. Great if you're uh, a bank that has um, your own application or you're developing your own app and want to provide some value by, by building in the capture technology into that. Cofax signed document, if you're uh, aware of, of um, uh, digital electronic signing, um, DocuSign is, is a, a popular, Cofax SignDoc is a competitor to that, the Cofax bought a while ago, and they're building that into their products as well. So it really builds e-signature capability into your, your capture process. So really, really worth uh, looking if you wanted to automate the, um, the, the kind of streamlining of, of the digital signatures that have to print things out and signing things. You can digitize the complete life cycle, capture life cycle of your documents, uh, a great value add. So just some, some documents that, uh, some applications that you may want to, to look at. Definitely analytics, I think if you've got a large capture environment, you should, should look at that, um, get, add some insights into to what you're doing. Mobile capture, if, you, if you're, you're looking at writing your own device, you've got a lot of mobile people that, that would need capture, definitely a great way to go to, to rather than centralizing it. Um, and obviously, uh, Cofax um, electronic signatures is a great way to keep the process completely digitized. So now I'd like to introduce a, another style of, of products, not d uh, document capture, but data capture. And this is a product that Cofax bought um, a few years back, but it, it's come on leaps and bounds and the new version last year is, it's really um, a, a powerful play. So, so what is it? I mean, that, that's something that we, we, we get a lot. And what Cofax found is, is there's a lot of what they call swivel chair um, processing uh, within organizations. So 
as we, we look around the organization today, you have to go into websites to uh, maybe grab values off the website, cut and paste them into applications, or you may have to go into applications to you know, do some data entry. There's a lot of manual processing between spreadsheets, between documents, between business applications, and we call that swivel chair processing. You're going, moving between monitor to monitor, app to app to grab values and, and kind of grab this data, capture it, and, and put it into to different places. Kapow automates um, the processing of this, this swivel chair um, uh, uh, processing. So you can, if you're using you know, a, a lot of manual labor to, to, to get some of this information to and from different applications, Kapow can automate this for you and there's a great value add here. So there's a lot of places where you have to do this. We have to cut and paste and grab things from emails, from data files, from Citrix environment, from websites, from portals, from legacy systems, from documents, from databases. So there's all sorts of ways that, that you know, we have to grab things from applications that are integrated together. So it works by creating what's called robots, um, and it automates the acquisition and integration of information. So you're, rather than doing it manually, it automates the steps that you are doing manually, um, and it, it, uh, it, it, it completely automates them in a, in a simple view of multiple data sources, so you can monitor them and, and process them. So let me, uh, let me come back to this slide, and let me move forward a couple of slides, because uh, I can process, I can explain this a little bit more detail. This is the designer. So it's a no-code approach. Um, it's completely drag and drop in the designer. And if you look down at the bottom here, we've got, we're just processing information from SAP and to extracting information from um, an Excel um, uh, information and kind of putting it back into SAP again. So you see that we, we've got a little robot here, which is the, the, what processes are called in Compile to open SAP, to load the files, load to Excel, extract information from Excel, different, uh, different rows, extract the customer number and put the customer on the image SAP. By automating that, you know, if you have to repeat this a thousand times and do it manually, then there's a big value add. And if I go back to, to here, then you, this is where you start to get some of the cost savings because you're automating some of these repetitive tasks. Um, a lot of people are getting 25 to 50% cost savings because they're saving FTEs people by doing this manually. So a great value add. So if you're an organization that you know, people are doing a lot of manual manipulation of data and data entry, then this is something that, that you can definitely look at because it has a great return on investment. A case study here is, is you know, healthcare. Um, they actually saved one million an annually by, by um, going to different ins insurer websites where you know they they have obviously a health provider has to go to different websites to to grab information, so they automated that completely and they saved a million dollars uh, annually. So you can really see how something like this is a uh, um, you know can can add some value. Definitely a, a kind of a nebulous product to to explain, but uh, the key thing to take away here is if you're doing a lot of manual data entry, let us know. I I think we we can help you and we'll be happy to. So maybe set up another webinar where we go into a little bit more detail about this because there's definitely uh, a value add and, and uh, how, we can, um, how we can help you out with some of those tasks. So it has a central management console as well. So all these different kind of repetitive tasks that you build up of your organization, then you can manage those and monitor them within one place. So you can really, you really get a sense of, uh, you know, uh, how things are working, what the productivity is, and, and keep managing everything from a central, uh, a central spot. 